Okay, here's a quick tutorial just about the general use of uh, the Verbingo Translation Editor. Um, first thing you do, go to Facebook <clears throat> and you can search Verbingo and uh, you get to the, uh, the land, the, the, the fan page here, or whatever they call it, and you can uh, go to the app directly and that, if, if you're a first time user, that will have you sign up. <clears throat> if you are already signed up, um, you will be taken straight to this uh, landing page where we have articles and whatnot on how to do things and uh, you know such. So on, on the left here are a few menu items <clears throat> and what you're going to want to do as a translator uh, well first of all you may want to adjust your profile and you do that by clicking on the little button over here by your name and in there you can uh, set up your profile and we have a, a tutorial on that so go ahead and do that you want to set your language pairs especially so that we can find you because then we're going to assign you projects and as a translator you will click on the my projects tab to see the projects that we've assigned you and they will show up in a table like this and you'll be able to simply click on them to open up the editor and once you open the editor <clears throat> you then have every string in a separate little window here and you open the window by clicking on the uh, flag icon and you notice how it opens and closes it and uh, you can jump around and translate however you like um, once inside the editor you simply click in the window here and you can type your um, translation and then you hit submit or submit next and that would take you to the next, the next segment. <clears> then <throat> you would re repeat the process. You can also use these buttons here, such as copy source, find fuzzy, and uh, some navigation tools here. For translators, don't worry about the red button over here, but that basically uh, is a review tool. Um, uh, you can, uh, if you need to edit a translation, you can click on this icon, and that allows you to edit. Um, this, uh, the like button is for reviewing, and again, it, it's, it's connected to this, to this icon here. So, that's a, a basic general overview. You can scroll up and down, um, but not, one other thing also, notice here your uh, pr uh, project status, but also here is a search TM uh, button where you can type in anything you want to search inside of the translation memory, and uh, this memory is specific to just this client, so, um, you know, you can search uh, partial words or strings or whatever you like. And then uh, once you see the results, you can uh, either click to, to go to that segment if it's found in, that, in this project. Or if it's not, you won't be able to, to click to go to it, but you can at least see the translation uh, if it's relevant and you can cut and paste it and whatnot. We are making improvements here to, to make the editor more friendly. So we ask for your input and feedback, but generally that's how you use it. Um, if you, one important thing finally is to, to is to pay attention to the status. Okay, um, you need to make sure you are connected and online. So when you when you go into a project and you are working, um, make sure that you pay attention to the 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 status bar here, and it will show you it will progress as you work. Also the little uh, button uh, the little bubbles here will turn from green to red as you progress along so please pay attention to that also the translations will appear underneath the source so, you know this serves for quick review and also just to tell where you are in a project so um, that's about it any questions please let us know uh, we're happy to help and uh, talk to you soon thanks